Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video lecture, we'll consider a continuous time LTI system with the impulse response H of t has been given, which is equal to U of t, and the input x of t is e to the power minus a t u of t, where a is greater than zero. Find the output y of t of the system. So how do I find output y of t of this such system? It is nothing but the convolution integral. So I need to find y of t is equal to x of t convolved with h of t. Correct? And what is the expression for this? For this we have the expression integration tau equal to minus infinity till infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. So this is the expression for the output y of t. So now the first task is I need to sketch x of t h of t. Later let me sketch x of tau h of t minus tau. And then I can start with the convolution integral. So first let me sketch x of t. I'll just get x axis and uh, y axis. This signal I would call it as x of t which is being sketched with respect to time uh, t. So what is that x of t is equal to? It is e to the power minus a t u of t. What do you mean by this? e to the power minus a t u of t. e to the power minus a t is nothing but a decaying signal. Are you getting it? Decaying exponential signal. e to the power minus a t is nothing but exponential signal. As uh, it is minus a and a is greater than 0, in the sense it is a decaying exponential signal which would look something like this. Correct? But such a signal getting multiplied with u of t. What do you mean by u of t? It is unit step signal which exists from 0 to infinity. It does not present at the negative uh, time limit. Hence, nothing would appear over here. Is that okay? So now if I want to sketch e to the power minus a t getting multiplied with uh, u of t, it would look something like this, which starts from the position 0. And it is a decaying exponential as I said. So such a signal I would call it as e to the power minus a t u of t. Correct? And here minus infinity till 0 it is going to be 0. So this is the nature of the signal. The next task is I need to also sketch h of t is equal to u of t. What is that signal? u of t is nothing but unit step signal. So let me sketch h of t as well. So this signal I would call it as h of uh, t, which is being sketched with respect to time t. I said it is unit step signal, and we know how does unit step signal looks like. From minus infinity till the zero, the signal uh, turns out to be uh, zero. That is from minus infinity uh, till zero, the signal is zero, and it starts from zero, and it takes the amplitude of one. And it remains as 1 till plus infinity. This is nothing but u of uh, t. The amplitude I said it is 1. This is 0. And it extends something like this till plus infinity. So now this is x of t h of t. But as per the formula I need x of tau h of t minus tau. How do I get them? Replace t with the tau so that I would get x of tau straight away. x of t I have. And I can uh, sketch x of uh, tau very easily. I would replace every variable, every t with tau, so that I would get x of tau. This is tau. And this remains, the shape of the signal is going to remain same. I am not doing anything uh, to the shape of the signal. That would remain same. It is a decaying exponential. This signal I would call it as e to the power minus a tau. u of tau is 1. I will not write that. This is the position that is 0. So this is nothing but x of tau. Next thing is I need to draw, I need to sketch h of t minus tau. I have h of tau. So I'll replace t with tau, I, I would get h of tau. But I want h of t minus tau. How do I get that? Just draw the reflected version of this signal. I would call it as h of t minus tau. Correct? So let me just get x axis and y axis. So this signal, I would call this as h of t minus tau. So how does that signal uh, look like? I said it is the reflected version of unit step signal. So just uh, take the mirror and keep it along the vertical axis 
and whatever the image I get that I would call it as h of t minus tau. It's a reflected uh, version. So just be careful and draw the signal carefully. Yes. It extends till plus infinity. Such a signal uh, is still minus infinity. Such a signal I would call it as h of t minus tau. Is that okay? Wherever the point tau equal to 0, I would call this point as tau equal to t. So now I can start with the integration, the convolution. So what I have to do now, so just look at the formula x of tau h of t minus tau. I need to multiply those two signals and h of t minus tau I need to shift the signal. So keep this signal x of tau constant and h of t minus tau shift this signal to the extreme left multiply get the answer. Shift the signal to the extreme right multiply these two signal get the answer and take the integration that's what I have to do. So first what I can what I do is I will make when the first I'll consider the first condition when t is made less than yeah. 0 means what t is made less than 0 since this signal keeps shifting to the left. Are you getting it? If the signal gets shifted to the left what is the answer I'm going to get the multiplication leads to 0 because this signal does not exist over here. Though this signal exists, multiplication leads to 0. So the first condition is when t is less than 0 under this x of tau getting multiplied with h of t minus tau is equal to 0. Therefore the answer is y of t is equal to 0. Is that correct? So now what I do is I, I made t less than 0 I shifted the signal to the left. So now what I do is I will make when t is greater than or equal to 0. In the sense I am shifting this signal to the right. Are you getting it? Then I have to multiply. How, how does that signal look like? For that uh, let me sketch both the signals then the concept becomes very clear for us. So this signal I would call it as uh, y of t which is the result of multiplication of both the signals. This is y of t being sketched with respect to time t and uh, x of tau I said that this signal remains as it is. It is a unit, uh, it is an exponential uh, signal decaying exponential. So the shape of the signal, uh, this signal would remain same. It is a decaying signal. Correct? And now this signal I have to shift it to the right. So if I shift that signal to the right it would look something like this. And let me just draw that with a different color so that things become very clear for us. Yes. It would look something like this and I said that this would uh, extend till minus infinity. Nothing much is going to happen that signal. Only thing is it gets shifted to the right but the shape of the signal is going to remain uh, same. What is x of uh, tau? x of tau I said it is uh, e to the power uh, minus tau. This is e to the power uh, what the signal was? minus a tau. Is that correct? e to the power minus a tau. h of t minus tau its amplitude is 1. So now I have got some common reason. In the common region I have to consider the integration and I have to write the limits as well. This was a 0 and this is h of t minus tau and I said I called this leg as tau equal to t and uh, it has come over here. So this is a t. So now I have to write the expression for y of t under this condition. The lower limit is minus infinity till infinity. Minus infinity I will not consider because the integration starts from 0th position onwards till the position of t. Is that correct? The limits were minus infinity to plus infinity. They get changed to 0 to plus t. What is there inside? It is e to the power minus a tau. That is x of tau. h of t minus tau is nothing but 1 d tau. So just do the simple integration. So integration of doing this is much easier. The only difficult point is that I think this uh, signal is very important. If you understand how do we write this, things become very clear for us. So now integration of e to the power minus a tau with respect to tau is nothing but e to the power minus a tau divided by minus a. Later I just have to take, I have to put the limits from 0 to t. So one can simplify this very easily. This is a very easy integration. I would take a minus 1 by a out. I would be left with e to the power 
minus a t later I would put uh, negative the lower limit e to the power uh, uh, 0 e to the power 0 is nothing but uh, 1 is that correct so now I'll just take minus sign inside I will be getting 1 by a into bracket e to the power is minus e to the power minus a t plus 1 correct or I can also write this as 1 by a into bracket 1 minus e to the power minus a t. So this is the final answer for y of t. y of t has taken two values. One value is this under the condition when t is greater than or equal to 0 and another value is 0 when t is less than 0. Combining both I can write the final output as y of t is equal to so just let me write both the answer. It is a 1 by a into bracket 1 minus e to the power minus a t for t greater than or equal to 0 and this is equal to 0 for t less than 0. So this is the convolution integral of these two signals. I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on signals and systems. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.